Welcome back. The North Dakota women's basketball team wrapped up the first half of Big Sky play over the weekend with a win over Eastern Washington on Thursday and a loss to Idaho Saturday afternoon, putting the Fighting Hawks at 10 and 10 overall and 3 and 6 in conference play. For more on last week's games and a look ahead to the remainder of the league season, here's Alex Heinert with head coach Travis Brewster. Thanks, Kelly. Well, Travis Brewster, another eventful week in UND women's basketball, a home split with Eastern Washington and Idaho. Talk us through the week for you. You know, uh, it was one of those things that you wanted to get the sweep, obviously, but uh, thought Eastern Washington, we did a very good job battling uh, and, and really uh, forging our way by working together to get ourselves an opportunity to win that ball game. Uh, but again, Idaho was hot, you know, uh, one player went off for 34, Geraldine mm -hmm. McCurkle, and we couldn't have that. But it's part of it, you know, and it shows you how the big sky is right now. It's, you know, it's a, at any night it could be anybody, so you have to be ready to go. It is a very balanced league, certainly, that we're seeing over the first half of this season. And yeah. um, we go back to Thursday. You mentioned Idaho being hot on Saturday. You guys were, couldn't miss on the floor on Thursday night. 57% yeah. from the floor, 47% from three. What keyed that hot shooting in the game Thursday against the Eagles? Well, the biggest thing is we took quality shots right and, and it was out of the out of the flow of the offense we were taking 15 footers getting layups and then we were using uh, the three-point shot for you know later in the clock getting you know, wide open uh, versus where on Saturday we were taking a lot more three-pointers and then trying to go back to the 15 footer yeah, you led by 11 in that game after the first against Eastern Washington they would claw their way yeah. back in the press gave you some trouble in the second half. I thought, though, the girls did a nice job of handling it down the stretch and making the plays when they need. Well, you know, when they yeah. needed to, they made it happen. Well, the biggest thing, the reason I chuckle about it is because we work on the press quite a bit in practice. Yeah. And, you know, they, they know what to do, mm -hmm. right? It's just one of those things when you get to playing in the game, they can see that the lead was shrinking down a little yeah. bit. Everything gets a little bit tighter. Everything gets a little bit faster. And you got to slow down in those situations and, and be able to to play off of each other again and, and just move the ball to the open person. When we did that, like you said, they did a very nice job. And so, uh, again, it's just one of those things that a younger team that hasn't had to deal with that a whole lot. Yeah, it's tough to simulate those yep. type of situations sometimes. But like I said, it felt like the girls did a nice job. There were more turnovers than you'd like, 21. Eastern mm -hmm. Washington got 32 points off that. But in the end, though, a big win over a team that had gotten you on the road to start the season. Yeah, boy, you just keep bringing out those numbers. Those hurt. But uh, <laughs> you know what? Uh, it, it is. It is what it is, right? Yeah. And, and we figured out a way to get it done. Obviously, if you eliminate those turnovers, that's 32 points less yeah, that they get game. a chance to score, right? And so you can even cut that in half. But, uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta figure it out as you go through and uh, you gotta be sure of yourself and sure of what we're doing and, and we gotta continue to keep getting better. Yeah, you got the 81-79 win on Thursday and we go to Saturday and as you mentioned already, it was an Idaho team that was really feeling it from the floor, especially in the second and third yeah. quarter, just a hot shooting barrage that you couldn't overcome in this game. Well, you know, again, we had some miscues on defense where we lost people. Uh, you know, you can't do that, right? It's against a team that likes to shoot, you can't lose somebody on the perimeter. Then you can't, the tough part is when you start closing out on the perimeter shooters, right? Then you, you gotta worry about the drive. And that's, you know, that's the simplicity of what they do, right? And, and it's still, it's a difficult thing to defend. And everybody, that's what everybody wants to do anyway. Um, you know, they, they were hot though, you know, and I think we helped, helped the situation out because we didn't rotate quite like we needed to on the defensive side. So uh, obviously we worked on that a little bit in practice, and, but we can't get that game back. We got to move forward. Right. You brought up Geraldine McCorkle earlier. She scores 34 on Saturday. Yeah. But again, Michaela Ferentz had scored 33 in your first meeting. It's a tough <laughs> one-two punch. It's, that's got to be difficult to throw, slow down a team like that when they have those multiple offensive weapons that can beat you. Well, you know, you kind of look at it and go, boy, 33 and 34, right? You know, and, and if you could just, I guess, look at it as hold them to their average, you're sure. going to give yourself a better chance, right? And that's something that uh, we got to keep working on. And, you know, Corco, she was going, right? You know, I, I haven't seen her shoot it that well uh, since uh, we've been playing against her, but she did. And, you know, she's a good, good handy player around the hoop, but she was actually knocking down those shots from the outside, which made her that much more of a threat. So uh, it is what it is. Yeah, so they get the 78-64 win on Saturday. Three and six now, coach, in conference play yeah. halfway through. Still, though, plenty of the conference season left. What do you think needs to improve for this squad over the second half to make a run at another Big Sky title? Well, the biggest thing is we eliminate our, our turnovers, right? Mm -hmm. I think we make some uh, just silly turnovers, ones that it, 
it could be done by the simplicity of an easier pass. Sure. Uh, I think the other part about it is uh, this team's got to decide to go for it, right? Uh, we're much better when we're aggressive, and, and we try to curve and be aggressive within our framework of what we're trying to get done. And when they do that, that you see that we play pretty well. So we got to continue to do that. I, I look for our, our leadership, uh, like a Fallon Frigi and Alexi Claybill, to name a couple, to continue to do what they're doing out there on the floor and get better as well. So uh, I, I, I really believe though that this team's still got a long ways to go before the end of the season. And the reality is, you know, it's a three-game season, mm -hmm. right, uh, at the end, because we're a one team that's going to qualify out of Reno. So uh, the key is we have to try to win every game that we can and keep getting better. Yeah, the opportunity to improve goes on the road this week. Montana, Montana State coming up again. The league-leading Grizz on Saturday, Montana State in Bozeman on Thursday. A couple of big games. I feel confident it's going to be a clean shave and Travis Pierce certainly clean get shaving. back and talk next week. Yeah, Coach. my wife will like you for that. Hey, one, there right? we go. <laughs> Safe travels out west. Yeah, Coach, best of luck this week. Yeah, thank you. Travis Brewster. Kelly, back to you. All right, thanks, Alex. You can find links to live audio, video, and stats of UND's games at Montana State and Montana this weekend on UNDsports.com. Game time in Bozeman is set for 8 p.m. Central on Thursday with the game in Missoula, tipping off at 3 p.m. Central on Saturday. Next on the show, we'll keep it in North Dakota, but head down to Fargo for water cooler talk. Jody Norstead is joined by Brad Anderson in studio to talk everything from high school sports to the Super Bowl. This is Midco Sports Tonight. <laughs>